Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones day trade setups for today. So, a um, bit of chaos in the market at the moment. We do have uh, quite a bit of uh, noise coming out of China at the moment with uh, a few protests against the COVID lockdowns, and um, uh, something's going to break there soon. And uh, this may be the start of it. Uh, it could also negatively impact uh, output of tr from China as well. And we're already battling with a number of uh, supply chain issues from uh, Chinese manufacturers. So difficult situation at the moment. Uh, not an area I want to be long in. If you look at uh, the oscillators at the moment, we are in an upward trend, granted. But I'm looking for a pullback onto structure. Now, we did get a one bar pullback last week onto this area here. I take it with a pinch of salt being a public holiday in amongst all of that, or sort of a double public holiday in amongst all of that. So uh, that is the zone I would be looking at for some kind of a pullback. And uh, so I just want to get to the weekly as well. So you can see the weekly, we haven't really had a crossover of our moving averages, and we're in this zone of what was uh, support back in 2021 and uh, we've been using it as resistance uh, this year we need to get above that high so basically the close of the week of last week we need to get above that and stay above it on the weekly for this to be validated now us ladders pointing straight up starting to curve a little bit moving averages haven't crossed over so take it with a pinch of salt I'd want to see uh, I want to see the moving averages pointing to the upside and uh, we don't have that at the moment we just come back down on the daily you can see we're starting to get the crossover here but look at how overbought we are at the moment uh, not that it means much we can stay overbought for extended periods of time if I just go back here um, you can see you know, we can stay over overboard for quite a long period of time so can't just use that as your only measurement and uh, the only thing that really is concerning me is you know, whether we are going to find support which is what I'd be looking for if I look the left on the daily here you can see lots of interest in this zone so let's just get down to the lower time frames that's what we're interested in and uh, starting with a three hour, you can see we've got a separation of the oscillators that crossed over. Um, we did get this retest here last week, but we, we failed to get the, the retest lower down. So that's the first thing that I'm looking at is these two areas here. If we get down to the hour, we can start seeing exactly what those levels are. So let me just get this one in here. And we're going to have to put another one in right there. Okay, so we are quite messy. But this is the first zone we need to pay attention to. That's uh, 34,195 and 34,158. If we find support here, I'd expect us to close the gap. So this is the trend. We are looking for uh, more upside at the moment. Problem we do have is we do have some smaller gaps to the downside here, which could act as magnets. These two levels here, this one has also been tested, 34.045, you can see we tested it here, and then you've got this one lower down. So for me, this is actually fairly simple. Uh, we've already got sort of a pin bar off this level. So you know, if this was in the market open, I'd be looking for a long right here. Actually, it would even be jumping in there with a stop just below the pin bar. So it would be about a 40 point stop loss and I'd be targeting the gap. That's kind of um, the view that we've got. However, looking at the 50 minute, we've got a crossover here and we can't pay too much attention to uh, Friday's price action, nor can we pay attention to Thursday's price action. So what we can do is just put Wednesday's close in, which is up there. So if we reject Wednesday's close and there's a bit of a gap here you can see so if we reject this area which is 34264 then I would expect another attempt at this zone we get through this zone I'm expecting us to drop down to let me just get 
uh, 34045. So that's kind of um, the view at the moment. Right now it's looking like a bearish case. We do have a crossover the moving averages and uh, we have sort of haven't crossed over in the 155. We are below the 155. So any rejection up here, that's the way I'd be looking at this. Uh, but at the moment, the trend is up, so we need to play with the trend. But I'm very, very cautious about this at the moment. So it um, could be a case of just dropping through this, uh, finding some support lower down, and then building the base from there. So, yeah, trend is up on most of the time frames. I think it's just really the weekly and uh, the 15 minutes and down that are not up. Everything else is up. So... Uh, be careful. I mean, it's you don't always want to be trading when that, that is going on. This uh, move here was uh, the, the half-day market that was open on Friday. It's just not something that I'd really be paying attention to right now. So anyway, that's kind of my view at the moment. The way it's looking at the moment, you can see pin bar. Now we formed an inside bar, but it could just be forming some kind of a wedge waiting for the European Open, get a rejection here, and then plummet down through this zone and target um, 30, 0, 4, 5, 34, 0, 4, 5. That's kind of um, the bearish case that I can see at the moment. Bullish case I don't see much at the moment and we are extremely overbought on a number of time frames. So uh, I would expect us either continue going sideways or you know, just get some kind of a pressure release, come and test some of these levels to the downside. Um, allowing us to to buy and lower down because that's essentially what I'd be wanting to do is looking for opportunity to buy and I don't see that opportunity here. Last thing, pay attention to the oscillators; they are starting to ease off, but if they start curling, or turning around here in the uh, uh, just below the 20 or just above the 20, then I would treat this as a range, and you're looking to buy off this for a move back up, close the gap firstly, then get out of that trade. So that's uh, the one scenario. The other scenario is obviously the, the the bearish case that I've given you here, which is a rejection of this zone or moves lower down to come and test these levels. Anyway, that's kind of my view at the moment. Um, this is going to be a 15 five minute trade setup. So make sure you've got uh, some coffee and you're sitting back and uh, the distractions and uh, just watch what happens uh, when the market opens this afternoon. Anyway, that's enough for me. Hope it helps and we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.